In this problem, you have two options for how to solve it. You could do it the slow way, which is not the wrong way. I want to emphasize that does not mean you're going to get it wrong. It just means it's going to take a little while. If you know what the cosine of 30, the cosine of 60, cosine of 90 degrees, and likewise for the sines are, you can take all of those and plug them in here, calculate what the result is, and then plug them all in here and compare the two and see which one of them matches. So you won't get it wrong that way. I mean, unless you make an algebra mistake, but it is a legit way to do it. There is a faster way that I want to show you how to do, which is knowing a special, a couple special formulas for trigonometry. And I'll go over the cosine one first. Cosine of two angles added together is equal to the cosine of the first one times the cosine of the second one minus the sine of the first one times the sine of the second one. Okay? You can think of this as, and I'm going to listen to the words I'm saying here, cosines change silly signs. Okay, cosine changes silly signs. And what I mean by that cosine changes the silly sign, for one thing, it tells you cos, cos, sine, sine. For another thing, it tells you take that plus sign and turn it into a minus sign. Okay, so this is a very powerful tool that you'll be using a lot later this year when we get into trigonometry and trigonometric identities. But you'll see that if you just look at this thing, it matches cosine changes the silly sign. It's 60 and 30, 60 and 30. There's a plus sign in between them. So that tells me this must have come from cosine of 60 minus 30. Now, there's a few different versions of this problem. You might find one that's not cos, cos, sine, sine you might need this other formula, sine of a plus b. And that changes things over to sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. And there is a funny way to remember that one too. If you look at the first letters of these guys and think about what I'm about to say, it's signs can't change signs. So sine can't change signs. And what I mean by that is not only a reminder of sine, cos, cos, sine, but if you look at this plus or minus sign right there, it's going to stay. Whatever it starts at on the left, it stays that way in the formula on the right. So one way or another in this problem, you're going to find yourself using either cosine changes the silly signs or signs can't change signs to, exp to condense this formula right here into one of these other formulas. And that'll actually save you a lot of time compared to the slow way method.